Hello, welcome back. So I'd like to continue my discussion on Boomman tree. So Boomman, Boomman tree. So for the last couple times, okay, last couple videos, uh, we talk about the Boomman construction for graph. So basically, the Boomman construction is like the following. We first have a base set. For example, like for this example here, I have the base set is one, two, three, four. And uh, we will have a number of splits. The split is just a partition of this base set. For example, I have sigma 1 that split into the, this uh, 1 and also t 2, 3, 4. Basically split into two partitions, two parts there. And uh, then uh, we also like, we want to make sure that um, all of this split is compatible. So we say that they are compatible when the, the splits uh, for the splits have each split have two subsets, right? So one of the subset of the splits uh, will be will have does not intersect with the other uh, subset of another split. So for example, like I have like sigma one and uh, sigma four here. So I have this sigma one like partition one two three four into one and two three four, and sigma four partition. 1, 2, 3, 4 into 1, 2, 4, and 3. So I have the subset like 1 from sigma 1 and 3 from sigma 4 that they, they do not intersect. So therefore they are compatible split. So this is like compatible. And uh, we showed last time that basically if we ensure those splits are compatible, then like we will construct a tree out of these splits. And basically like also like the, again, like the edge and the node is like for each of the edge, we, we first maybe I should talk about node. Node is just like a node is uh, a tuple that uh, select one subset from each of the splits. So for example here, like for this node here, I basically pick the uh, subset like this one, two, uh, sorry, subset one from sigma one and subset one, two, three from sigma two and subset one four one three four from sigma three and subset one two four from sigma four and uh, so therefore like okay maybe I, I just wait maybe I can call it like CO 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 just make it simple. So it's like CO subset like for the first one and CO subset the first two uh, the second one and so on. And um and for the next node here you see that I only make changes for the first split there like instead of pick the first subset I pick the second subset let me call it one zero 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 maybe and then I um an edge will be connected connecting two nodes if they only differ by one split so okay so this is a, a very quick review so anyway it is the construction uh the booming construction and last time we showed that like uh with the booming construction uh the constructed graph would be connected is basically it's also a tree. So that, that's what um, we showed last time. Uh, this time we want to show that like, uh, uh, actually I won't give a very uh, rigorous proof this time, but I will kind of uh, show by construction, but I guess I, I guess I have more, most of the key step, you can complete the proof if you want. Um, that like for any tree, we can construct that with a Boomman uh, construction. So any tree can be constructed using this Boomman step here. And so therefore, like, uh, if we show any property for this Boomman tree here, the property property will extend the feature will be extending to all possible trees. And uh, in particular, one uh, property is finally we are interested in to interested improving that is um, for any tree, if we consider some addictive uh, tree metric, uh, I will specify more later on. So the addictive tree metric, metric um, okay, maybe I just jump my head a little bit, is simply uh, if I have um, the distance between like any two nodes, maybe I have distance between this nodes and this node. And if I ask like what's the distance of this nodes here with this node, the distance will be like this node uh, the distance between these two nodes, uh, adding the distance between 
these two nodes. So this this will be an additive uh, tree metric, and uh, basically what Boomman showed uh, in his nineteen seventy something paper is that like if you have an additive tree metric and if you know like all the uh, all the metric number between any two nodes, so you know like from the distance, basically distance between any two any two nodes. Uh, you you will know exactly what the tree structures look like. So that one is we are going to show that maybe next time or like. But this time we'll first show or like um, illustrate that like a uh, Bowman tree, uh, any tree can be constructed using uh, the Bowman construction. So we will just show that like with um, uh, by. Uh, by construction basically so let's say I have just think of like very simple example first like if I have just two, two nodes here I'm connecting with one node here so what I came like is that like I can construct this tree with two um, uh, as basically with like two uh, of course I, I have two edges here I expect, expect two split here so basically the, I, I let me give some name for this. Uh, yeah, it's okay, I guess. So I call this sigma one here, sigma two here. Let's say it's the split here, and then I uh, I can construct this tree. I will claim that like um, the Bowman construction for this tree will be corresponding to something like that. I have A, B, and C here. So here. Uh, Maybe I use different color is better. A, B, C, and then I, I have first speed here, and then I have second speed here, and I have a. Uh, oh, actually, did oh okay. This this is a bit simple. I I think like. Uh, Yeah, I, I, I'm done here actually. For this guy, I, I have like this two split and then it create this this tree here. Uh, maybe I, I before I'm showing that, sorry, let me give a little bit more complicated example then. Uh, and just make sure like how I come up with this guy here. So for example, if I have this one, maybe I put one more note here. So I... I I think I can construct this tree apparently like now I have like what one two three four five five sigmas here so again I, I have a b c d a b c let's say d e I think I will have when I have basically the rule here is like if I have uh, five edges or like if I have two edges I have two two splits here I have five edges I have five splits here and I will need uh, six elements in the base set. So I, I will put a F here, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, and um, and uh, I will have split something like that. Okay, I, I probably one out of colors. So I have A, maybe I can use black also, B, C. This corresponds to this uh, three edges here. And I can have a. Uh, oh, wait a sec. Maybe I don't need. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, I think, is uh, for this edge here. Uh, this is a sigma. I have like sigma one. This sigma two. This sigma three and this sigma four here, and uh, I have like sigma. Actually, I don't need. Um, maybe my rule is not quite uh, kind of uh, as as uh, strict as I I thought. But anyway, the number of elements is. I, I I don't know. I need to be careful. Like how 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 many elements do I need? But you see that what what I'm doing is I. Each time I introduce a new leaf node, 
I'll introduce a new um, element here. And I, I will have a new split there to the sigma 5 here, let's see. And uh, for, the, for the node, the interior node that kind of like uh, connecting to the, the parent and also connecting to the the to the uh, leaf nodes or like the later the nodes in the lower layer uh, will be basically encoding like whatever inside um, and uh, yes and uh, and then after all this like, I need to put an, an additional element here just want to make sure that so if I for example if I don't have this element I don't put in this element here then the problem is I like, my split like the sigma five and sigma four is actually identical because like uh, they they are just complement to one another. So I need one additional uh, element here. So let let me give one more example. Let's say if I have this uh, maybe let's see maybe I put like this. So I have like. Again, like maybe sigma one here. I I have a for sigma one. Then I have um, sigma two here. So I have b for sigma two here. And I have uh, c. The sigma d here. So for this uh, sigma four here. Basically, I will encode in these two guys here, right? And uh, I have sigma one here. Oops, I come up with a trouble. Actually, I don't think this is uh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's a uh, one thing that is not allowed. I forgot to say. So for the Boomer construction, it it will connect construct tree. Uh. Oh wait, wait. I I think this is allowed. Wait, wait. Why, why I see the construction here? So I should have. Let's see. Sigma five. Okay, I have sigma five here. I guess the rule may be like if I don't have a node here or inside here, then I, I need to put in an additional element. If I, if, oh, okay, let me repeat it. So if I have um, uh, an interior node that is containing like more than one one node here, one leaf node here, or like more branches here, so I I can just have this, uh, upgoing uh, edge. The corresponding split, just encoding all the children there. However, if I only have node that is directly connecting to only one node, like here, like it's connecting to A here, only one node, then uh, I cannot just encode this because if I just enclose this, then then these two split will identical. So I need to put in something extra. So I put a D here, so I encode this guy, and then I need to make sure also like. I need to have one additional element. I put E here. So okay, that's that's more or less I what I have. So um, now I claim that this apparently I can construct like this. Um, so uh, my my rule basically again is if uh, I I will just I uh, start with leaf nodes. So each leaf node will encode one circle there, and encode one element there. We just introduce one new element, and as we go up, like from the leaf nodes, it like goes up. Then we'll just have a uh, one node. Uh, sorry. Um, then the uh, the edge, the edge connecting to the upper layer, will be corresponding to split that encoding all the children knows uh, and uh, if there's only one child instead of multiple children then like in this case here then we'll introduce one more member here so we'll just like continue to do that like when we when we go so for example if I have one more layer here so let's say if I have um, this this whole thing here 
if it's connecting to something else, then I will I have a new node here. Then I basically I will have um, let's say this is E here will be kind of like uh, for this guy here I will have uh, this is a sigma seven. Let's say I have sigma seven here, five uh, actually not seven yet. Sigma six here, sigma six here. We're enclosing this, and let's let's say this sigma seven will be enclosing this whole thing here. So okay, yeah, that's that's basically uh, the construction procedure, and apparently, uh, I think like if we we show like a couple steps here, then then uh, you can just generalize that using induction. But let us let's, let's just uh, sh first of all like uh, know that like for whatever we are constructing here, apparently. We are constructing compatible splits because, like, uh, when we have a, uh, um, remember that, like, we have a uh, splits that are, uh, incompatible. Only when, like, each the subsets of the splits, like, the two subsets, none of the subsets of the splits, will be, um, will. Have uh, will have non uh, non empty intersection with the other. So in this case here, I can guarantee that I have uh non empty intersection from my construction because I from here remember that when whenever we each time we close up, we just I have um uh, a bigger superset is like kind of enclosing everything, and. Uh, so if you think of the when we have one set like enclosing the other set and then of course say like, the bigger set look think of the bigger set and do the complement of the bigger set the complement of, of the bigger set of course uh, does not intersect with this set here so therefore like uh, when i have one one super set enclosing the other set these two space there definitely will be uh, compatible with one another so um, the construction by itself is compatible um, and uh, now then we, we just need to make sure that like we actually have all these nodes here as they are they are actually a uh, uh, valid node uh, so in the sense that they, the pairwise of the course the subsets in each of the nodes the pairwise uh, intersection uh, not empty. So let's start with the simplest example here. So I have like let's say I have A, B, and C here, and as I said, like this is like for space. Let's say this is like sigma one here, and let's say this is like for space sigma two here. And uh, I I I will just give uh, let let's see how how do it. So for simplicity, like like just I, uh, as I uh, wrote like earlier, like uh, I I'm going to, so of course like the subset here, like the space here will be like, uh, if I write it more precise, it will be like S one zero maybe it's like that include like A, and then S one one will include uh, B C, the subset here, uh, and then I. The subset for this space here is like S two zero will be equal to B, and then S uh, two one is equal to A C here, uh, and uh, so for this node here, I came this node is actually just S two zero and S one S one one. And uh, for simplicity, instead of writing this S one zero, S one one, and S two zero, I will just write one zero. That's much simpler here. Um, and uh, let's see. So what was okay? Let let me let me write this one zero, pictorically. Uh, it's easier to understand. So I'm picking like for this guy here. I am picking for split split two. I'm just picking the subset uh, with element B alone 
and uh, for split one I'm picking the subset this guy right the complement uh, of like a here so we say like this one here so apparently this is a valid valid node way right? so the, the these two subset have a long empty intersection now for this other guy here so I came this is still one here and uh, so that correspond to I have this red one A and for the first split I'm picking this subset A here and then I for uh, the second subset I'm picking this one okay. it's basically it's the S2 S21 here again I, this is a valid node uh, because these two subsets have a non-empty intersection now then I, for this node here uh, basically, I am going to pick I this node. I'm expect to be one one, so that would correspond to C A B. That I'm picking this subset and also this subset. Again, I apparently this has non-empty intersection, so therefore uh, is um is a valid node. So um okay I I guess I need to make a correction that I make a mistake in my first video that like uh I said like interior node that uh will have non um non fine uh non empty support but I guess like uh that's also the claim in the original paper I but I I, I guess this is this depends on like how you how you choose your base set here i guess that like, what you can claim is that like, in the leaf node the support is non zero but i i don't think like for the interior node like that's a must that like your um subset uh has to be uh, sorry the, the support has to be uh non-empty for example like for this node here the support is actually equal to c here so but anyway this this is a uh, uh this node like all three nodes are valid and more, of course like these two nodes i differ only by the split for similar one and so therefore like the edge is similar one here and so it's a valid edge so these two nodes only differ by like similar two and, and also a valid edge so indeed like this base set and also like this split here splits into like um similar one and similar to this construct the, the uh, tree as what we want here so uh now let's let's look at maybe i erase this here to have more space so we, we do the same thing here to look at this more complicated example here so um for this guy here i have uh I I claim that like I I will have something like A B C D E, so maybe instead of like writing the words the sigma one sigma two, uh I mean the S one one S one two is like what or like one zero something like that. Maybe I will just like draw it directly. So what I want is like for here I will want A to pick this guy here, and then for the Similar to, I like to pick this, this one. Oh wait, wait, wait. Pick this one. Okay, we are doing fine for now because I, these two subset uh pair have non empty pairwise uh, intersection, and C, uh this similar thing. I want to pick this guy here. And then for D, I want to pick. Oops. I want to pick this one here and for for not for uh, sorry not for D what I mean is for sigma 5 I'm going to pick this uh, this subset here and for sigma 4 I am going to pick this subset so apparently this is a very node right so I, I am actually this the support here is exactly equal to A right the support is equal to A. 
support equal to A. Maybe I should write support equal to instead of like support equal to A here. Uh, now I do again. I do this note here. D D A B C here. So I do something very similar, but like A. Uh, for this like similar one here, I will pick this instead. So I will pick the complement of uh, the subset containing only A there, and then for B, I'm going to pick B alone. And for C, I'm going to pick this one. And for sorry, I, I keep saying like for C, I should mean that for sigma of I'm going to pick um pick this one. And for sigma two, I'm going to pick uh B, the subset containing B alone. And for sigma four, I'm going to pick this one. And sigma five, I'm going to pick this. Okay. And uh, okay, I guess you see the pattern. So uh, again, I, I for this node here, I have D, E, A, B, C here. I have A. I'm going to pick this, and B. I'm going to pick this here, and C. I'm going to pick this one, and D is going to pick this. Oops, there's no. Okay. D is going to pick no I keep saying that I'm sorry. Um A why well, I mean A uh for sigma one I'm going to pick the wet one and for sigma two I'm going to pick the back back subset here. Sigma three I'm going to pick C here and sigma four I'm pick this green one here. Oops. Uh yeah. And then like, for sigma five I'm going to pick uh this one. And uh, this one, D, oh, let's use the black color again. So for this note here, D, A, B, C. So um, sigma one, I'm going to pick this. Sigma two, I'm going to pick this one. And uh, sigma three, pick this one, and sigma four, pick this one, and sigma five, pick this one. So I can you see like this is a valid, valid node. And also like now you see the edges here, like sigma one, sigma two, sigma three are all valid also. Like for example, like for uh, this upper node here to this node with support A here, only sigma one differ, right? So all these other split uh, with sec I. Oh, oh, I made a mistake here, sorry. Uh, D, I picked the wrong one. For the sigma five, I picked the wrong one. Sigma five, we pick this one. Okay, now it should be white. Yeah, so again, like for this upper node here to this uh, lower node here, so only sigma 1, uh, the split will pick a different subset, right? For sigma 3, we have like D, E, A, B, for example. Sigma 2, we have. Um, sigma 2, we have like D, E, A, C, uh, both of them, and then like. Sigma five also picks the same, and uh, sigma. Oh, actually, I I make make the other mistake here. So this one should still choose this guy here. Okay, finally, I think it's right. So now now really like these two nodes only differ by uh, sigma one. And also, like we can verify for the other guys. For example, like for this one and this uh, nodes here, node here, only sigma two is different, right? For the rest, are the same, and also, also, also like that. Now I can continue to do the same thing for these other two nodes here. So for this node, uh, I have uh, D A B C here. So for 
or maybe I do this node first, maybe it's easier. So I can continue to work on this, but the only thing different is basically this uh, selection of this semaphore. So uh, for the rest, I should have like the same as this guy, like uh, for example, similar three is like, like the same as before. And then like uh, for similar one, I, I pick this one again. And then like uh, similar three, oh no, similar three, I already picked that. Similar two, I pick this one. Okay. And SIMA, SIMA 5, same one, and then uh, SIMA 4, SIMA 4 I have this. Okay. So uh, again, it's very easy to verify that like this is a valid node because all of these are compatible. Right? And also like this, this is a, an edge supposed to be SIMA 4 is right because I only change SIMA 4. So from this one to here, again, I, I, I just, I should just change one of them, change SIMA5, and uh, if I just change SIMA5, so let me quickly, back one here, so SIMA5 only, this one is different, so, uh, again, uh, it's a very no because I actually the support here is actually equal to equal to D here. So as you can see, actually the leaf node here is exactly. That's why I, I get a little bit um uh have a I try have a very high tendency that like uh have to call this uh, sigma as like just the node here because uh they the the the. The sigma for the leaf node here is actually correspond to uh, this leaf node, as you can see that uh, I'm s or the, the support of that leaf node that I'm enclosing. Uh, so um, so again, uh, you, you see like therefore like this actually indeed, this way if I do a partition like this, uh, this will uh, for the booming construction, this indeed give me the tree that I, I want I wanted. Uh so let let's find it also like go for this one. Uh, I think can I move uh, oh yeah that's that's fine. Maybe I erase a little bit something here. Then I have a little bit more space. So I um again I start with like nose uh, in the bottom so maybe like I have the uh Maybe I have to start with this node here. I have like D, E, A, B, C. Well, actually, this um, I will have uh, sigma one is actually I will just have. Oops, sigma one I will just pick A here, and for sigma two, I will pick the complement of B, and sigma three I will pick complement of uh, C. And then let's see. And uh, similar for I will pick the complement of B and C. And uh, similar five, I will pick DMA. So apparently this one is a value node. I'm actually the support. Support is equal to A here. And uh, for this node. I have like D, E, B, C again. Uh, sigma 2, I'll pick B. Sigma 3, I'll pick C complement. Uh, and sigma 4, I'll pick A, B, C. And uh, sigma 1, I'll pick uh, A complement. Oops, different color. A complement and what left? Uh, I have sigma three. Yes, yeah, sigma three. I'll uh, pick uh, the uh, BCE. So again, like this, this one is a value node, and the support is equal to B. And uh, for this one, let's say, let me just continue this exercise anyway. A B C. Uh, 
and uh, sigma 1 I should pick uh, complement of A and uh, sigma 2 I pick complement of B sigma 3 pick uh, C sigma 4 pick A, B, C and sigma 5 pick uh, e, B, C yeah and again like this one actually the support is C here so uh, it's actually the same thing I'm not sure I should compute that uh, maybe I will compute it anyway um, so I have this D E, e, A, B, C, and uh, sigma sigma one is equal to uh, D E B C. Well, actually, I can just look at it. it should be like differ from this one only by B here. Uh, sorry, by by uh, sigma two here. So actually, I can just simply copy. Uh, this node so except for sigma 2 for sigma 2 I will have this instead and uh, and this is a valid node and also like this differ by this node here only by sigma 2 that's what, what we want and we also should check like this differ by this one is only by Sigma three. That's what we want as well. And uh, if I go continue to go up, I can copy this, but only change sigma four. Let's say, yeah. Actually, I should have done that. Like this is actually easier. If I go go one one edge at a time, and so because I can just copy the whole thing again. Like the E is this. Uh, sorry, like uh, I mean, sigma sigma one is that. Sigma three is this one, and then uh, sigma two is this guy here. And then uh, uh, sigma three is this one, and sigma four have this instead. So again, uh, you can easily check that this the pairwise intersection of all the subsets uh, are non-empty, so that is valid. And then we we go down here, or like this one go up here, I have like. D, E, A, B, C. Let's say if I go down here, so I just copy this guy except sigma three here. Yeah. Sigma three should go to become D, A instead, and the rest will be just the same. Oops, I think I. Oh, here I, I draw. I, oops, actually. Oh yeah, all, all this I made a mistake actually. But that that's that's why so my my sigma four should have uh sh oh wait a sec. It should be like this. Like, uh, what left? Oh, yeah, I, I, sigma 2, yeah. So I, I basically just copy this one to here, down here, but I, I change the blue one, basically, the blue one, the sigma 3, I, I have to complement is that. Um, and uh, if I continue to go down, so I find that this and this one differ only, oh, wait, yeah, differ only, oh, yeah, differ only by sigma 1, right? Sigma 1, yes. And uh, the rest is actually the same. So okay, uh, it's it's not a kind of um, uh, a concrete proof, but I I think like you uh, one can I uh, just uh, um, no I shouldn't say not a con concrete proof, not a rigorous proof, uh, but I think like people can make it rigorous pretty easily. So uh, again, if you have procedure, um, 
if I go back to okay I already erase all this then let's see if I yeah all the erase manual so but uh again like the procedure maybe like I do one more just the procedure is I simply if I have an a tree like this so what I'm going to do is start with a if no oops start with a leaf node here then like the leaf node let's say I have A here so I have A make an A and this one for the A here I will have splits like this I, I don't I don't have anything for the West yet and then I have B for this node I have B here I close B and I expect the support you want to support of this node here will be A and also this one support for this one will be B and then as I go up to the parents my parents will encode both of them to split and uh, this is a Maybe I give it still use a different color here. Uh, th this similar one, similar to I use the same color. So let's say the similar flea I use like this one. I say this is similar flea here. And then I, uh, when I well, I have another leaf node here, I need to introduce another leaf node. Then I have uh, say C here. Or maybe use black again. C here. And. Uh, I have maybe I use the same color here. I quickly out of color. This is same of three here, uh, same of four here. So, or maybe okay. Let let let's let's use different color. I think I have enough color. So this is say same of four. Let's say same of four. Now again, I when I go up to my, uh, I probably don't have enough color. <laughs> so let's say same of six here. I uh, same of five, four and then five. This would be just like enclosing both this uh, children subset here and I have sigma 5 here and now I, I go to this node here so maybe I use use back again so this one I have have a new node that I have this this is C here right? I call it this D here so I have D here it's enclosing this D with a sigma 5 uh, 6 here sigma 6 here and then I um, as I go up I need to enclose this guy but if I don't include like, any additional element, then these two split will be the same. So I force to add one element here. So I, I put an E here and then I have like, this is a similar seven basically. And, uh, and I need to add one additional element to the base set because if not, then this sigma seven will be same split, uh, the same split of sigma five. So I just have one element here f. So we can continue to do this, and it's able to control any any tree basically. So uh yeah, that that's it. I guess uh, I will stop here. Then maybe next time I will talk about magic, and uh, uh, and since we we show that like. Any uh any tree can be con can be constructed using the Boomer construction. So again, like if I I am able to show that um for some particular metric, in particular this adaptive tree metric, if we know uh for each pair of nodes, uh what's the uh the value of those values of the uh adaptive tree metric then uh, we'll be able to uniquely identify the tree structure and that's basically our final, final goal so okay i will really stop here